right, so another example here. We want to take that uh, negative one third through to the two. So we end up getting one over x to the two thirds. But it's a negative on the bottom. So when there's a negative on the bottom, we can actually flip that up to the top. So I get x to the two thirds. But to rewrite that with a root, remember whatever is on the bottom, that is your root. So it's the cube root of x squared as your answer. Um, this means I can take that 2 through to everything. So that is a 3 squared. That is x to the 2 over 4. That is y to the 4 over 3. And that is z squared on the bottom. 2 squared. That is an x squared. And that is a y to the 2 over 2. So now let's simplify everything we can. And before we do that, I guess we're looking right here at this y. That's an improper fraction. So let's get rid of those improper fractions. So how many times is 3 going to 4? One time with a remainder of 1 third. So I'm rewriting that top as 3 squared, x to the 2 fourths. That y to the 4 thirds, I separated into y to the 1, and y to the 1 third, and z squared. And there is my bottom, which I simplify the 2 over 2 to just y. OK. On top, I can reduce. Um, that is a 9, right? 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. That's where I got the 4 from. Um, this y I put out in front with the z. And I moved all the fractions to the back. This x to the 2 fourths, I reduced to x to the 1 half. And there is the y to the 1 third. On the bottom, 2 squared is 4, x squared, and y. I don't have to worry about the bottom yet, OK? Um, but let's simplify whatever we can. Well, I notice that there's a y on both the top and the bottom, so I get rid of it. The numbers can't reduce. So, so far, um, I have um, yeah, the y's uh, simplify there. But I have an x to the half and an x squared. So what I can do is I can subtract those. I get 1 half minus 2. So I get negative 1 and a half, which means since it's negative 1 and a half, um, let me just take one look here. OK, so we have a negative x to the uh, 1 half there. Um, OK, so now we got it fixed. x to the negative 1 half, which means I need to move that x down to the bottom because it's a negative 1. Uh, so now I have x to the 1 uh, and 1 half. Well, because it's 4x to the 1 and 1 half, I can split that x up into 4 to the x to the first and x to the 1 half. I need to get rid of that x to the half. That's the problem. So to get rid of that x to the half, I'm going to have to find common denominators. So x to the 1 half there, um, because a half plus a half is a whole. And when I do that, um, the bottom there, those x becomes a whole. So I have two x's in the bottom there. And on the top, if you notice, um, when I do this, I have x squared on the bottom. And I'm going to just rearrange these so I have all the non-fractions out uh, in front. I can't put these two together because they don't have the same root. So one's a half and one's a third. So in order to make them have the same uh, root right there, I will make this 3 6 and 2 6 so when I do so, um, I rewrite that as the sixth root, because remember, whatever's on the bottom is your root, the sixth root, and it's x cubed and y squared. All right, and we come back here, we'll try to finish up these examples.